everyone, it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you today from the kitchen at the Grow Together Homestead where I'm yet again <laughs> preserving some of the great goodness that I've got coming in my garden right now. I've got some great herbs and I've also got some leftover um, spruce tips from the, this is probably from the last harvest I'll have from those. And so today I'm going to preserve some of this deliciousness in uh, herb salt. It's a really good one for finishing off um, chicken and, and fish. I put a little bit of dips. It's really, really quite yummy. Salt is a great natural preservative and this is one of those dead easy things. So this is a really nice unique gift that you could give people from your garden and that they can enjoy in their kitchen all year long. So what do you got to put into it? Herbs? Salt. That's it. Okay. Super, super, super easy. Um, I'm also doing spruce tips. So what I've come up with as with all my little experimenting is pretty, pretty dead simple. One part coarse salt, one part packed her that have been cleaned and have had all their woody stems picked off. You don't really want to leave that in when you're making it because it'll bind up and it's best to spend that time removing all those bits and pieces and twiggy parts. And one thing you do want to keep in mind is with these herbs that work best, a lot of them do have the twiggy bits, okay? So take the time to do that. Roll them in a paper towel or, or a dry dish towel. Let them dry off quite a bit before you start mixing it in with the salt, otherwise it's just going to be extra drying time. Okay, so I've taken the time, I've packed up, I've got a really nice selection of herbs that I've used here, and these are ones that I find work really well. I've um, found that some of the more delicate herbs don't work as well because honestly they just don't stand up to the drying and to the, uh, and to the addition of the salt. You don't taste it, but ones that do work well. Rosemary. Rosemary is a tough old herb and it'll hold up to this. I like using my garlic grease. Uh, what else have I got here? I like lemon verbena because I like anything lemon. I've got basil in here. I've got some chervil, lemon thyme, regular thyme, sage. These are all things that are nice, strong, really, really pungent flavors and they work really well in a herb salt. Play with the mixture. Find one that you, you like a lot, okay? A lot of people really love parsley. I don't have any yet this year, but <laughs> when it's up, I will be using it as well, okay? I am going to put into my nice herb combination. I'm also going to put in another cup. I like to use, when I have spruce tips around, this is one of my favorite flavors because it's almost like a lemon rosemary. Two flavors I love. So I'm going to put the same amount as that as well. So what I have now, two cups of herbs and greens that I'm going to be mashing up with my salt. And they've all been clean and rolled in a cloth to dry. All right, not hard. I'm going to throw that into my mixer. This is about the max amount that I would want to put in my mixer at once. Now, I use a nice salt that's coarse. It's not going to be coarse by the time I'm done here because I'm, this is going to go through two processes and I find that if I start with a fine salt, I don't want powder at the end. I want a nice sprinkling salt at the end. So I start with a good coarse salt now. And I've got two cups of that. So two cups of salt, two cups of herbs. If you have one cup of salt, well, one cup of herb, use one cup of salt. Now, this is the really easy part. I told you it's not hard. I'm going to keep pulsing this until it's really, really just, well, I'll show you. Okay, so this is really well ground up. See, you can see that herbs are all very well incorporated with the salt. Now I'm going to take this, I take a parchment sheet of paper, and I'm going to just spread that out evenly on this. It's quite slushy at this point. So I'm going to spread that out. Oh, it smells so good. You, I'm sure you can imagine all those delicious herbs just 
ground up. Mm. All right. So it, as I said, it's slushy, it's moist. I could stick this in my dehydrator if I wanted to, but honestly, the salt is a naturally dry, natural drying agent, and this will dry out quite quickly, depending on where you live and the kind of humidity that you have. If you live in a really, really humid place, you might want to pop this in the dehydrator on a super low oven for a very short time, but as I live in a very dry place, I know that in a day or two, this is going to be bone dry. Okay, so there you go, I've got it like that. Once this is dry, you might find that it's chunky and cakey. No problem, you're gonna just put it back in here and give it another whiz up, okay? It, uh, it also will ensure then that if you did happen to leave any of this little bits in that you missed before, that second grinding will get rid of that and it'll also reduce the size of your salt crystals so that you could use it um, just as a sprinkle on the end. Or you could also put it in a, a grinder if you didn't, don't want to grind it back up again. But I find that a lot of people don't have grinders, so as I'm giving this as gifts, I like to give it so that they can use it right away. Now, I'm not gonna make you wait two days to see how it looks like in the end because I made some two days ago and I finished grinding it up this morning. It's not as brilliantly colored, but oh, it smells delicious. It is delicious. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bottle it up into nice little containers, label it, and give it away. And also, I'm going to keep a big batch for ourselves because we do use a ton of it ourselves here. So, it just keep in order for this to keep well, treat it as you would any spice. You want to keep it in a nice, tightly, like a nice jar that's sealed, a glass jar that's sealed. And I like to keep them in a dark place so that they don't get a lot of sun sunlight hitting it. I just find it makes things last a little longer. Okay. So I hope you'll try that. If you have any questions about various herbs or combinations or any other preserving that we do here, please let me know. And as always, I hope you take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.